because of the incredible courage you have shown and the extraordinary sacrifices you have made, Maryland and our nation can now at least begin to slowly recover. Hello everyone, I'm Vic Carter. And I'm Rachel Carton. We want to be clear, this does not mean the crisis is over, but Governor Hogan says this decision was made based on the facts and science. These are the numbers Governor Hogan has been watching very closely. Now, come Friday night at 5 p.m., stores and salons can reopen with precautions in place, and small religious gatherings can begin once again. We have extensive live team coverage tonight, and we begin with WJZ investigator Mike Helgren with the new information from the governor. Mike. Rachel and Vic, this is a welcome sign for many, but the governor says we still need to be very careful. There were more than 700 cases in seven days in Baltimore City alone, and he did give local leaders latitude to decide when they will reopen. And today, I am pleased to announce that Maryland has achieved the 14-day trend of plateauing and declining numbers. Maryland can begin to reopen starting Friday at 5 p.m. when the state's stay-at-home order will be lifted. Retail stores in Maryland may reopen with up to 50% capacity and with strong social distancing, masking, and other safety precautions. The first stage of recovery in Maryland will allow low-touch, lower-risk activities, including small gatherings outside. Wearing masks will still be encouraged. Only in stage two could restaurants and bars open for sit-down service in a limited capacity. The governor is basing reopening on having four critical elements in place. Surge hospital capacity in case of another outbreak, availability of personal protective equipment, increased testing, and being able to trace the contacts of those who tested positive. I can assure you that we remain ready to quickly and decisively respond to any changes in the facts on the ground that we will continue to attack this virus. Not all of the state will reopen at once. The governor says local leaders can make their own decisions on when it's best to start opening up. He urged caution. A lot of it depends on how everyone treats this first phase. If everybody goes crazy and does things that are unsafe, we're going to balloon back up and slow down the process. If everybody uh, responds responsibly, we'll be able to move forward, you know, quicker. So the governor and the coronavirus task force will continue looking at the numbers every day. Some more notes, hair salons can open up at 50% of capacity. Churches can have services. They're recommending that they have services outdoors. If they have them indoors, they're recommending that they have them at 50% capacity. Reporting live, Mike Helgren, WJZ.